Yellowstone Cano. No amount of technology can stop a massive eruption. Scientists warn that no amount of technology will stop a super eruption in Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is shaken by up to 3,000 earthquakes every year, leading many to speculate that a disaster is brewing deep below the surface. Located in northwest Wyoming and measuring approximately 30 miles 50 kilometers by 45 miles 70 kilometers, the Yellowstone caldera, more commonly referred to as the Yellowstone supervolcano, has seen three violent eruptions over the last 2.1 million years. Three super eruptions occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million and about 640,000 years ago. While there is no evidence to suggest that it will erupt again anytime soon, scientists continue to investigate ways to study past eruptions in an attempt to shed light on what could have happened ahead of Yellowstone's next explosion. Daniel Zarishan a research geologist at the U.S. Geological Survey's Cascades Volcano Observatory, suggested that such eruptions were impossible to prevent. Speaking in the 2004 Supervolcanoes documentary, Naked Science, he said, there is no technology that I can imagine that can stop a super eruption. Geologists measure volcanic eruptions using the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, which ranges from 0 to 8. The scale is logarithmic, meaning each interval on the scale represents a tenfold increase in the volume of material that erupts. A supervolcano is a volcano that has previously erupted with a VEI of 8. The volume of sediment for such an eruption is over 1,000 cubic kilometers. For context, the eruption of Mount St. The 1980 Helens, the deadliest and most economically damaging volcanic event in U.S. history, had a VEI of 5. Mount Tambora, the strongest eruption in recorded human history, measures 7 on the VEI. The super eruption would be 10 times bigger than this, and 1,000 times bigger than Mount St. Helens. NASA scientists had previously proposed drilling into Yellowstone to relieve pressure on underground structures to reduce the volcanic threat. However, a report from the United States Geological Survey USGS, states, despite the enormous cost and technological difficulties of drilling through hot, soft rock, drilling is unlikely to have much impact on any magma stored beneath Yellowstone. At temperatures and pressures close to magmatic, any holes will quickly be covered by minerals that crystallize from the natural fluids that exist at those depths. The report added, even if there is significant magma erupting beneath Yellowstone, Drilling into it in an attempt to relieve pressure will have a devastating effect. Scientific research has repeatedly proven that depressurization is one of the factors that push magma to the surface to erupt. So cooling and depressurizing the magma system will have many unintended negative consequences, including making an eruption more likely. Predicting the potential for super eruptions, including Yellowstone, is nearly impossible, according to researchers at Cardiff University. The team saw evidence of 13 previous super eruptions, including the most recent at New Zealand's Taupo more than 24,000 years ago. They found that eruptions varied in duration, from short periods of days or weeks to decades. Dr. George Cooper, one of the study's authors, said in a statement. Super eruptions can start literally with the explosion and collapse of the roof of the chamber or start gradually, with hesitation before escalating into catastrophic activity. Overall, 
The eruptions may occur rapidly and uninterruptedly over several days or be in continuous episodic sequence for decades. The uncertainty associated with this event makes it very challenging to determine when and how this volcano could potentially erupt in the future. Yellowstone's last eruption, according to USGS scientists, was preceded by many explosions over the decades. Analysis of rock deposits has painted a picture of a complex sequence starting with multiple explosive events that may have been separated by years to decades before better mapped explosive eruptions occurred.